Hey Doc, have you ever seen someone get their veins injected? No. All right. I'm Dr. Paul Falzo. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. Welcome to Talking with Docs. We have a guest, Dr. Bev Chan, vascular surgeon, a vein injector. Okay, and she would inject veins because they have people have varicose veins, and one of the treatment options is injection. Correct. Otherwise known as sclerotherapy. The fancy way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> sclerotherapy. <laughs> fun to say, maybe not so fun to get, but not so bad. It's not that bad. All right, take us through how it's done. We've got some videos of you injecting veins. Step one, what are you doing here? So after informed consent, I get the patients to stand up. I mark their veins while they're standing because they're um, dilated out. Okay, so using gravity just to pull the blood to dilate the veins, and you mark where they are. Okay. Is that, get... is that a permanent marker? No. Okay. <laughs> Good thing. Because that, that, you wouldn't be doing anyone any favor. I got rid of your veins, but now you got marks for the veins. So. She's a tattoo artist on the weekend. Yeah. Okay, step two. Then what do you do? I get them to lie down. Okay, what are you doing here? I am injecting a foam sclerosin there. So it's a chemical detergent to irritate the veins. So I inject into the areas where I mark, make sure I draw back to see some flashback of blood, and then I inject slowly the medication. Okay, and what, you said this is a foam therapy? Yes. So what does it do? So it's got a little bit of air, and, and, the, and I use, well, in this case, I was using a sodium tetradecal sulfate solution, so it's a chemical agent to irritate. Sodium, a sodium whoozy what's it? <laughs> Uh, yeah. And it just, <laughs> and it just makes the vein collapse. Yeah, it's, it's and the walls stick to each other so yeah. to block it off yeah. permanently. Well, well, hang on, don't I need these veins? To... No, okay. they're the broken ones. Okay, so the veins are not doing their job anyways, so that's why we inject them to sclerose them and collapse them. Okay, and about how many injections would you do at a time? It know? depends on how, how many varicose veins there are in a patient. Okay. And is that it? One and done. We've injected your veins. See you later. No. Okay. It's chronic. So it's a gift that keeps on giving, Clark. Yeah. All right. So and so would those veins come back or just other veins that other show Other veins up? will show up. So it's permanent for the vein that you injected. That cannot recannulize, really. It can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's okay. definitely, sometimes you have to inject them a couple times. Okay. okay. And the procedure itself, is it painful? No. And do patients have to do anything ahead of time to prepare for this procedure? Not really. Okay, they just kind of show up? Yeah. Okay, so now you've done the injections, and what are you doing here? I'm putting on the compression socks. Okay, so after you've had these injections, you have to wear compression socks for a period of time? Yes, just to keep everything nice and collapsed down. Okay, and is that like, is that something then you would recommend that they wear on into the indefinite future compression socks after this kind of thing? It'd be lovely, but most okay. of my patients are probably not going to be wearing them all the time. Okay, so how long do you say you just got to wear these compression socks? The first two days, okay, keep them on, and then for another week during the day. All right, and we do have a video that shows how to put these things on because they're yep. not so easy to put on because they're super duper tight. So we'll leave a little extra time in the morning. Right? Absolutely, and obviously if you had an experience with injections, please let us know. Any risks or complications to vein injections? Yeah, so there are risks okay. of blood clots with okay. any vein procedures. So okay. We get patients to walk around all a lot. Right? After you've had after, the procedure? After okay. you've had it and no long travel. Okay. Um, there's risk of allergy to the medication. Right, which you don't know of often until you yeah. get it, obviously. Yeah. Okay. okay. Also, if they have underlying like heart conditions. Right. They can have um, aggravated chest pain or yeah. some other incident. Okay. What about infection? Can you ever get an infection from these things? Uh, it's possible. Okay. But rare, it sounds rare. like, yeah. judging by your reaction to that no. silly question I just No, asked. but it's, as long as you clean the skin before. Okay. And generally speaking, this is obviously debilitating for a lot of people, but would you say generally it's quite successful and people are mostly happy with the outcome? Yep. Yeah. Afterwards, does it look a little bruised and weird? Like maybe it, what is this, what is this lady yeah. doing? Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. we're chemically causing a phlebitis. Okay. Wow. So it looks worse before it gets better. Okay. It's like robbing Peter to pay yeah. Paul, which as I say, I'm okay with, but not in this case. Well, in this case you are. You're causing a bit of discoloration and a bit of dysfunction yeah. of the vein in order to get rid of it. So for a short time, it might look a bit look unsightly. Worse. And how long is it to appreciate the benefit? So are we talking like a couple of weeks, like two, three weeks? You're like, okay, oh, wow, they look a lot better. Maybe months. a little more. A couple of months. <laughs> okay, so don't, so don't panic. If you just had this like three days ago and you're like, what the heck? Yeah. My legs are not better. That's for the long haul. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, it looks like it didn't hurt too much. Nope. If you're about to get your veins done, if you're thinking of getting them injected, hopefully this helps alleviate some of your stress or worries that it's not that painful. It's a very routine procedure.
pretty successful. There you go. Now you know. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel. Check out our long-form content over on YouTube. And leave us some comments if you've had your veins injected and how it went for you. Other viewers would love to hear about it. Remember, you are in charge of your own health. Dr. Chan, vascular surgeon, thank you so much. It was my pleasure. We'll see you next time.